Hello there. It's funny because when I when I, I say it, I think in in um, Attack of the Clones when I drop in behind General Grievous, and I was just I know it was Alec Guinness's first line when as Obi Wan Kenobi in A New Hope when he sees um, I I think it's I can't remember if it's to Luke Skywalker or to C three PO, but he says hello there as he takes his hood down. Hello there. And so it was like, for when I remember doing it on set, it was like, okay, I'm now doing this iconic line. So I had to sort of somewhat throw it away, I guess, or else, else I wouldn't be able to do it. Hello there. Yes, hello. Hello there. Yeah, hello there, and welcome to E! News While You Were Streaming, the official post-show of pop culture. I'm Danielle Robay. And I'm Wells Adams, and the force is strong today because we are celebrating the launch of one of the most anticipated <laughs> releases of all year, Obi-Wan Kenobi is I, on Disney+. Plus. I thought you were talking about this show. Oh yeah, this, this too. Yeah, yeah. but also Obi-Wan Kenobi. What is everybody talking about? The first two episodes are now live, and Everyone cannot get over young Princess Leia. Mm -hmm. There's an unexpected betrayal and so many more twists. We're going to be breaking down the biggest spoilers from the first two episodes in just a bit. But first, Wells, you're our resident Star Wars expert. What do you think? What are your quick initial thoughts? I like Star Wars expert is uh, code for dork. Uh, yes, I am. That's not what I meant. Yeah, kind of. Um, listen, I'm just excited for it to be back. I mean, I grew up on all of these films, and now that it's a show, it's amazing. And the fact that Hayden Christensen is back, like he has been out of Hollywood for a very long time. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's probably very hard to say no to coming back to Star Wars, but to have him back is so freaking cool. I mean, if you're going to come back, you come back for the Star Wars franchise. Yeah, exactly. Right? Well, coming up, we have spoiler reactions, interviews, and exclusive clips from the entire Obi-Wan cast, plus behind-the-scenes info from a Star Wars visionary. And you gotta tweet us. We're live, and we're dying to know what you think. The first two episodes are out, so tweet us your thoughts at E! News, and you'll probably be featured in the show. I'm gonna be reading your tweets all episode long. So first up, E! News chatted with Obi-Wan himself, Ewan McGregor, about everything fans need to know about this season. This is your Star Wars official crash course. We're calling it Obi-101. Am I right? Oh, I like that. All right, I'll see myself out this I got ship. it. That's good. I don't think they need to know anything. I think, of course, it follows the prequels. It leads into... Alec Guinness's creation of the role in, in the 1977 when it came out. But it is its own story, and, and, and I don't think anyone needs to do any homework. They just have to switch on and put their feet up and enjoy it. I felt like right from the word go, we took this character that we know and love, and we took him to a very dark place where he's a broken man, where he's lost the, his faith in the Force, in being a Jedi, he's a little lost, he'd lost all his friends. He's in a very lonely place. And and that was that was where we started. And so every iteration of the script after that initial sort of meeting where we discussed that would just got better and better and better. And I was always happy to read them. Leave us alone. When the time comes, he must be trained. Like you trained his father. The sort of um memory of like getting dressed as Obi-Wan Kenobi from all those years ago. It's a similar feeling today with, it just, it just, a lot of it, you know, the cloak, the hood, all of that came back to me like it was yesterday in a way. I could feel the warmth that came from the fans about the prequels, which I hadn't, hadn't really felt at the time when they came out. They were, they were not much liked by the critics at least. And um, so it took a while to hear the voice of the real audience, you know, and realize that they were liked. It was 2003 that we finished shooting it in Sydney, Australia, which is, yeah, it seems like a lifetime ago. But at the same time, when I was on set with Hayden doing this series, 
it felt like no time had passed at all. You know, we looked across at each other and we were like, this is so good, like some kind of time warp had happened or something. It was very crazy. And the lightsaber training that we did for this with Jojo was amazing. He's a great fight coordinator and, and we did some great work with him. So it was all great. It was a great experience from start to finish. Hayden developed one which is a spin behind the back and then in front. You, if you saw it, you'd recognize it. And I never quite mastered it back in the prequel days because it was like Hayden's signature move. And uh, when we were doing the training for this, Jojo started teaching me how to do it properly. And I nailed it. And I was like, oh, now I've got him. Now I've got Hayden. Obi-Wan, may the force be with you. Goodbye, old friend. May the force be with you. Oh, I'm so excited.